Welcome to the Brent Wilsey channel. This is a smart investing recap for the week. Now, normally I'm going to talk to you about the economy or the markets. Today I got a little something different for you. Maybe you've heard about California's state run private retirement plan. Now, I've got to ask you is this a good idea or a bad idea? Well, I know when you think of the political side, like it's probably a bad idea, but let me go over the numbers for you and how it's going to work and so forth. And my other question is. Well, other states, should they or will they follow suit? What is this retirement plan I'm talking about? It's a plan that's going to affect about 6 million Californians that work for private companies. So if you're a teacher or you work for the government, not going to affect you. It's only going to affect you if you work for a small company that does not have a retirement plan like a 401k or 403b or some other type of retirement plan. Now, it's going to affect all private employers that don't have the retirement plans, and it comes out, and this is, this is the bad part, i got to tell you, this money will come out of the employee's pay. It's, it's not like the employer is going to put any money in for you. No, that's not going to happen. What's going to happen is that your salary is going to be reduced by this amount. Now, 3% is the number that they're going to withhold from your pay. That employer doesn't match, nothing happens there, but they're going to withhold that from your pay and go into this retirement plan. Now you might be saying, well, well what retirement plan? Where is this money going to go? Here it comes in the state problem. The state is going to pick the fund manager for you. I know you're kind of working right now about that, but what they're going to have is a seven-member board that's going to pick the investments you can go into. Yes, I agree with you. I'm not really thrilled about that. But the other concerns I have is this money from what I've seen, it's going to be invested too conservatively. I've seen things that are saying, well, we're going to do it something like a 10-year treasury. Come on, people. The 10-year treasury is paying like 1.7%. That's not a good retirement plan. That's what concerns me about this plan. They're going to be too conservative, conservative on it. Here's the big one. This scares the, I won't say it, but the dickens out of me. I'll say that. Every two years, as an employee, you must opt out of the plan. If you do not do that, you're going to have deducted from your pay 3% for this plan. And just imagine, once they get their money, how hard it's going to be to get that money back. It's not going to be easy to do. So you have to opt out of this plan every two years, or automatically, it's going to come out of your payroll. Now, what I don't understand, oh, here's something else before I go into that. Employees, you don't get to pick the investments. They're probably going to be too conservative. And how many times you've gotten to a plan and you look at the plan like, oh my gosh, this is terrible. <laughs> That's the phone. Don't worry about it. I'll, I'll just put them on hold here. We'll get rid of that. I can't do that, so we'll just let it ring. Sorry about that. Um, but what, what I'm talking about is on this plan. Um, you can't pick your investments. And how many times you say, and I see this all the time, I look at people's investments in the 401ks, they have terrible options. Well, you're not going to have any options. You have one plan to go with, and that's it. This is, again, another state thing. That tr and I will tell you, they're trying to do good, but they're missing by a wide margin here at doing good. Think about this. Why don't you just go out and do a Roth or a traditional IRA? You have the control of the investments. You can pick what you want to do. You want to be in stocks, you want to be in bonds, you want to be in whatever, you can do that. Can't do it with the state plan. So ignore this plan. Be careful. This has actually been signed into law. This is going to happen. Be on the lookout for it. Because if you're not careful, you could be losing 3% of your money from your pay and not know for sure where it's going. I'm Brent Wilsey, and that's my opinion.